Uh, okay, this is... <laughs> I was filming and then I got insecure about my feet because I didn't cut my toenails, so I put on socks. <laughs> Yeah, I would like to talk about my standards for adult friendships. Number one, most important thing, I need to feel inspired by each and every person that's in my life. When I'm talking about inspiration, it's not necessarily them doing something that's crazy and out of the norm. How do they live their life day to day? What is their mindset? I really am looking for people who prioritize healthy communication in friendships. I have had this happen to me like maybe twice now in my adult friendship life. These people have, I guess, I don't know, I could only assume because it was never communicated, but these people have had built up resentment for me over things that they haven't communicated over the duration of our friendship. And then one day they just stopped. They just ghosted me basically. Till this day, I will never fully know the reason why these people have left my life. I now looking back could understand how I could have also showed up as a better friend too. But what I need in a friendship is someone who prioritizes communication, consistent communication. I feel like this is so normalized in romantic relationships but you know for a fact that in a romantic relationship if you don't communicate everything then the relationship will eventually fall apart and you guys will break up but i feel like that's not really normalized in friendships because in friendships you don't really see each other as often as you would a partner it's okay to brush things under the rug and let things slide but honestly all of those things will build up to a crazy amount of resistance later on then you would feel the need to ghost and like completely cut that person off but all of that could have been averted if communication was prioritized from the very beginning of a friendship all of my friendships that I hold close and dear to my heart are the ones where we have gone through ruptures and repairs. Another thing that I am looking for in my friendships now is this stable force of softness and sensitivity. Even while ruptures are happening, I've really grown over the past couple of months. My relationship with my partner has been the biggest teacher that I could ever ask for. Like I have grown and transformed so much to the point where my mom said to me today, Day when I was dropping her off to work. Wow, your partner really changed you. You're so soft and sweet now. You chose such a great guy. And I'm like, yeah, I did. He is a good guy and he has influenced me in so many ways. Which is why, leading back to the point of I need to feel inspired with a friend, it's because everyone, whether you like it or not, that you have your energetic cord in will influence you. And you cannot avoid that no matter what. You cannot avoid it. There is a cause and effect to things, to every single thing. They will influence you. That is why that common saying of the five closest people in your life. What is the full saying? I don't even know. The saying is you are the average of your five closest friends. I am at the point in my life where I feel more than ever that I'm ready to fly and expand and take off. I want to continue growing, getting closer to my dream and like, you know, just like doing, doing that. If I have people in my life who I don't feel inspired by, who I feel drained with after a hangout, inevitably they will affect me in some way. If we were to truly recognize the value of our energy and our time, then we would be a lot more courageous when it comes to taking our energy energetic cord out fully and I emphasize fully because this is what happens when you take out your energetic cord halfway because you're too scared to do the whole closure thing and like walk away fully you take it out halfway okay now try going somewhere else with your energetic cord stuck in one your one prong stuck in the outlet you literally can't go far you can't meet the people that you want to meet you can't like have the transformation that you want to have and it's because of that half of your energetic cord being stuck in people places and things that are holding you back yeah holding you back you only have a limited amount of energy which is why this metaphor works <laughs> the most important lesson that i have learned in my adult friendships arena is the importance of walking away so for me i know that it's time to walk away and to pull out my energetic cord when 
time after time after time after time after my hangout with a person my body feels drained and the body never lies i'm telling you in any type of interpersonal relationship the body never lies the body will always know that something is up first so my body will feel drained it will not feel as energized kind of feel lower about myself and my life if there's like one off experiences like that it's okay that's completely normal like people have off days your friendship will also have like off times too but if it's like consistently that voice in your head of doubt and just like confusion and uh, this is not really it is consistently there that's how i know that it is time to walk away the more you try to avoid that voice and you're like no i will continue having my energetic cords you know plugged in here the more anxious of a person that you will become because your intuition is saying something but you are blatantly ignoring it and when you don't listen to your intuition then you cannot get closer to your dream life your dream reality that it just it just cannot work if you don't listen to your gut feeling because your dream life when you're living it is fully aligned with your soul your heart your mind everything think about it when you imagine your dream friendships and your dream community how does your body feel when you are surrounded by these people safe calm uplifted you know overall at peace content i feel like the times when my body was screaming that this friend group this friendship is no longer it and i actually listened to that message of course initially before walking away i was avoiding it i didn't want to listen to it because if i were to actually listen to it that would mean that i would lose the sense of community that that friendship or friend group brings if those friendships are not fully aligned with you and don't make you feel good then that is not a real community it's almost like a front a front of a community a facade so all the bugs living in my window are at this spot because of the light that is so cool do not open this window whitney or those bugs will enter your room every time i did actually listen to my intuition and walked away i was rewarded yes for the first few months I was lonelier but i was more at peace because my body wasn't screaming my anxiety wasn't going through, going through the roof for me not listening to my intuition a few months after i walked away miraculously this is what universe does when you listen to your heart and your intuition they will somehow bring more people into your life who will resonate with you at that point in time i truly think that the universe wants you to grow the universe wants you to flourish so this is just the truth that i have in my head when i walk away from people who are not exactly in resonance with me anymore i choose love over fear and love in this situation is respecting myself respecting my standards respecting my time and energy and i end up making the harder choice to walk away the universe will see that and be like yo Whitney, that was such a good choice. We love you. A few months time after you've healed from that incident, we will send you more opportunities and blessings and people to your way because they love us. They literally love us. And the people who did enter my life after I walked away were, were always um, higher quality. There was an upgrade. And when there's an upgrade of people in your life, it is inevitable as well for your personal life to also upgrade because you're the average of the closest people around you now that i have the emotional i guess maturity and just the wisdom how i walk away from friendships now i don't do it that often but i had to do it recently is a lot different than how i did back then i think back then i would use the common method of silently drifting away into the dark and now this is how i want to go about it and this is how recently i've gone about it but i will actually communicate if i feel that i would like to drift away from someone this is why i choose to communicate and to be upfront instead of you know silently ghosting someone because that's what it is it's you're literally ghosting them you could dilute it by doing it over time but at the end of the day you don't provide them any reasoning explanation of why you stopped nurturing your connection with them for that person if nothing is communicated then they will wear that burden they will be confused for the rest of their lives for me this is what i personally believe that if you have at any point in, in your life have respected that person have loved that person then that person even though they're no longer in resonance with you present day is deserving of closure and a reason of why you are acting differently and why you are growing more distant i've gotten ghosted like twice by uh people who i thought that we were fine you know like i thought that there was a future between us the gradually ghosting thing was done to me i know how that feels 
I don't respect it. I don't like it. So I will also act from a place of integrity and give the other person what they deserve. An honest answer. <laughs> when you communicate, you give someone the opportunity to show up as a better friend or a better partner. And when you don't communicate, you literally take away that opportunity and then your resentment for them is so unfair and one-sided because you th never even gave them the opportunity to show up differently i'm the type of person where i really want to be a good friend i really really want to be a good friend and want to make all my friends feel loved and supported and feel like they could fly with me and if a friend communicated something that i could show up better at i'm on it like i am on like okay okay let me integrate like please tell me more please tell me exactly how i could show up to make you feel more loved one thing that I am doing now in order to attract more like-minded people into my life to build a community based on my values and just what makes me excited is putting myself out there. This is what I've learned in my personal experience that I think could also apply in your own life. I journaled this. I will read it so I do not butcher it. I will never miss out on what's meant for me, so don't be embarrassed to be rejected aka interest not reciprocated sometimes either party could not feel a calling to nurture a relationship with someone and it's not because of you more so it's simply not in the cards for you to have this connection blossom in this exact moment there are definitely connections waiting to bloom so don't let the lack of reciprocity from the past prevent you from being vulnerable again keep your heart open let yourself be accessible instead of hiding behind a wall everything will unfold beautifully keep showing interest and support in people and let go of the conditional support let your warmth shine to all even if your efforts aren't reciprocated it's simply not in the cards to mayhaps develop a one-on-one -on -one with someone but to send your love and support regardless is always an option i've been putting myself out there and like meeting new people and like attempting to develop new friendships right when i have sometimes it's not reciprocated sometimes they don't want to continue the conversation with me sometimes they don't want to get to know me as much as like i want to get to know them and it does definitely hurt do not get it twisted it definitely does hurt my ego is definitely like oh no however if i truly trusted that everyone is in my life for a reason then i would also trust that the people who are not currently in my life is also for a reason just trusting in that belief that you cannot miss what is meant for you will free you from all of these expectations of how people will respond to you and all of that love and support like i said in the journal entry is always an option regardless of reciprocity it's always an option to show up for someone and to send love towards someone even if they don't want to be your friend i'm actually really happy that i've had experiences where my efforts weren't reciprocated because i was able to learn this lesson I think it's kind of immature and childish to withdraw your support and you know love that you're sending from someone just because they're not also actively mirror mirroring what you're doing back to you but if you genuinely support someone like you could still raise them up and like pray for them and like wish them the best behind the scenes that doesn't have to change i also find that when i hold myself to that type of behavior instead of letting my pride win and you know acting from saltiness i also just become more of the person that I want to be. When you're more of the person that you want to be and that really marinates and your energy becomes more concentrated, the people that will then follow into your life will resonate with you and align with you that much more. What type of friend do I want to be? I think it's also crucial, so important to reflect on what type of friends that you want in your life but also who do you want to be? Who do you want to show up as in your friendships? I want to be someone who is so soft with my friends that when i do feel triggered and hurt by them i'm able to communicate everything so softly and so full of love and not have my love be conditional to how they show up if that makes sense you know this is what i realized recently that back then and like even i guess like now that i take up too much space i take up too much space to the point where i feel like my friends 
feel like they have to take up less space because I take up so much space. What I'm specifically talking about is because they could feel my control and need for the dynamic to be a certain way. And this is something that in the recent weeks, month that I have really been working on and like trying to let go. I just want to have my friends feel like they could expand and feel so safe when they're around me. And when I mean like controlling the dynamic, okay, let's say like you're having a conversation and it's like going somewhere where like it kind of lost your interest, you would like insert your to try to change up the conversation like that's in the little minute ways like that's you controlling the dynamic because what if that person wanted to continue talking about that you know another way that i was showing up that was taking up too much space was i think when it comes to my friends who are inherently more soft and not as fiery as me i would go into the connection like still the same amount of like fieriness and like intensity level of like this is who i am a lot of my friends they're kind of like chilling you know like they don't really they don't really express themselves and show up in connections in that way i wouldn't adjust and like adapt to that and i would just like continuously show up as i guess like intensely which would make the other person probably feel like they are not able to take up as much space because i feel like when someone is declaring their presence through their energy and like the volume of their voice and like all of these things it just it just doesn't create a safe space for people who are more shy or timid or soft so that's like one thing that i'm working on i feel like i also just in general have been gravitating towards friends who also hold that space for me too because nowadays as i'm leaning more and more into my femininity like growing that and like letting go of a lot of like my masculine energy of how I show up day to day. I also love the softness. Like I'd be like talking super softly. I'd be just like, you know, acting. I wouldn't say womanly. I guess the best way to describe it is like I'm acting more femininely. I'm understanding and acknowledging the power of feminine energy and how I don't have to be loud. I don't have to like try to make myself known. I don't have to like control any dynamic. That will actually create more good than not doing that. Am I the type of person that I would become friends with? If you were to take away one thing from this video, it would just be that. Do you match your standards that you have for other people in your life? If not, then you could attract people that are really high quality, but if you don't embody those standards yourself, then that friendship, that connection is not sustainable. Anyways, I have been talking and I just want to rest now. Thank you for being here and I shall see you in my next video.